Hello and welcome to another edition of Hot Tech Tips. Today we're going to do a new video series and we're going to build a very easy to use but still very nicely formatted um, home budget. So let's start that now and the way we're going to build it is we'll build the first month and then we'll expand those over to the other months by copying and pasting. So the way I like to do that is I like to have the first month and then I also would like to put what my budget is and that is a bad word for some people but it doesn't have to be that bad. It's a spreadsheet. You can change the budget if you need to. And then I put the actual because we budget but sometimes that budget changes based on what our actual is. And at the end of the year you can add up your actual and maybe adjust your budget for the following year. So let's spread this out a little bit. That may be a little too far. Now, if I wanted to get these, say I wanted to get my budget and my actual columns the exact same width, if you put the mouse right between the two column headers and press the left mouse button, it will tell you what this width is, 15.29. So I can look at that, move it back and forth. Maybe I want to make it exactly 15. So on this one here, I'm going to do the same thing move it down to 15. So now these two are the same width. Another way to do that is to right click on a column and set the column width yourself. Alright, so the next thing I would like to set my um, headers off with a different color. So I'll go up to my fill color and choose the salmon color. What is this one here? orange. We'll choose this color. Alright. So the next thing we want to do is put what our items are that we're going to be paying for. So let's say we have our home payment, electric payment, utilities, water, gas, insurance, cellular service, internet, and TV. Those are usually together these days. Food budget and um, auto gas, we'll say. All right. So these items here will be our, <clears throat> I'm going to actually highlight these and move them all down one row. Okay. These will be our income, I mean our expense items. And then we will have our income items. just say income. All right now to we're going to highlight this row here click on the button to center them and then let's make them bold and then for expense let's make it bold maybe increase by one step the font size and we'll do the same thing for this one but let's do it a different way let's click here this button here on the ribbon is called the format painter if you click it one time and then it captures all the formats of this cell and then click on the cell you want to change it will change that formatting to match this formatting all right so we have our January expenses and our income we'll say paycheck one
we'll assume you get paid twice a month on the fifth on the first and the fifteenth we'll say okay and then sometimes we have other expenses I mean other income sources you know maybe eBay maybe Amazon maybe garage sales so we'll just say extra All right, so now we have our basics of what we spend money on and what we make money, uh, how we make money. So let's fill in a couple of these. Let's say the home costs uh, $750 a month. <clears throat> Electric is $250. Water is $75. Gas is $50. Insurance is 200, cellular is 250 for a family, right? Internet and TV, 150. Food, that's going to be how much you spend, uh, let's say 500 a month. That's $125 a week for groceries. And then your auto gas, let's say it's uh, $200 a month. It's only a dollar seventy-seven cents a gallon right now, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to <clears throat> subtotal all of our expenses. So I'm going to right-click here, insert a row, and then I want to insert another row. So I could just right-click here and insert another row. But one of the shortcuts in Excel is once you do a format or you do an action like insert a row, if you hit the F4 key, it will repeat the last action for you. So I'm going to hit the F4 key, and it adds another row. So now we'll go type the word total expense, and then we will sum the expenses. So I'm going to type equal, sum, open parentheses, and highlight these, and then hit close parentheses and enter. So our total expenses are $2,425 a month in our budget. So now what we want to do is make these look better for numbers. So I'm going to highlight these rows right click format cells change it to currency two decimal places this is what it, the sample will look like and then click OK so now I have it looking a little bit nicer now for income let's say you make and I'm, I'm not including taxes or anything I'm just gonna put what the take home here is so let's say you make $1,500 per paycheck and then you budget that you're going to make maybe an extra $300 a month from other sources. Okay, so now we'll go down here and say total income. And we will do the same with summing equals sum open parentheses, highlight, close parentheses, and now I want to get this into the number format as well. What I can do is click on any one of these formats, do that format painter option we did earlier, and drag that down here, copies the format for us. <coughs> so now let's put in Remainder. Is that not how you spell it? And for the remainder, we will say our income minus our expenses. So I'll type an equal sign. That says I'm going to make a formula. And I'll have this number minus, I hit the minus sign, this number, enter. So my budget now is showing that 
I expect to have or have discretionary income of $875 a month. Now I'm going to dress it up just a little bit. I'll click on this number here and I want to put a bottom border to make it look a little nicer. Bottom border. And then we'll leave it like that. All right, so then the way you use it is during the month, as you pay your bills, you put in what your actual payment was. 750. Electric this month was only 225. Now what I like to do also is I will write, if I, when I pay a, say I make a mortgage payment, I, you always get some type of um, confirmation number. So what I like to do is I like to right click, insert a comment, and then I'll paste whatever that number was for my confirmation number. And that way I have a record of it. And I can always just go back here and see what that was. Water, let's say we did $76 that month. Gas was only 37. Insurance was 200. Cellular was 270 because we went over on our data usage. Internet 150. Food, let's say you spent 600. And auto gas was 198. Alright, so once again, I'm going to use the Format Painter, paint down here, and I'll go down one more to get the total expense. In fact, let's just go down here to get everything. Alright, so now, <clears throat> here's what we can do. Instead of doing the equal sum that we did for this one, we can just, base, we can just simply copy this formula and paste it in the cell next to it and we will do paste values formulas we will paste and so now we can see that we were a little over budget for the month and our paycheck actual was 1500 but hey we got a little bit of overtime this week so we got 1625 and then our extra was only 275 and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this formula of the sum B16 to B18. But instead of right click paste, I'm going to drag this. I'm going to click on this little square dot at the bottom here that's called the fill handle. And that will copy when I drag this over. That's like doing copy paste. And you see what changed was here. It was referring to B16 to B18, but when I copied, it changed it to C16 to C18. Because these cell references are what they call relative. So any copy will change relative to where you're pasting it. <clears throat> so then we'll do the same thing right here. So this month, I mean, the, the actual show that you actually ended up with a little bit more money than your budget because of the way things worked out. You had a little bit of overtime. Several of the bills were less than expected. So let's just dress it up a little bit more. Okay. So now, another thing I like to do is... Well, we'll do that in the next one, but I like to show how much money is left until I'm, until I have extra money that month, but we'll do that next time. So now what I want to do is I want to copy this for January, February, and March. So what I will do is grab everything. Remember, everything is relative, and then right-click and copy. And then right click and paste. Okay, so there is my February.
and then we will do the same thing for March. Control copy. I'm doing it with the keyboard this time. Control C and then Control V to paste. Now, of course, what I want to do is I want to make these columns the same. So this is 21.14. I'll right click in here. Column width 21.14. Enter. I highlighted the I column and hit F4 because that copied F4 repeated my last formatting. And now I want these to be 15. So right click here, format column width, 15. And then I'm going to click on G, F4, J, F4, K, F4. Now I'm going to, I put this little space in here to make it, to dress it up a little bit. But I'm going to make the these enter columns a little bit thinner. So let's see, what is this one here? 3.14. 3.14. So now those are the same. All right. Now <clears throat> let's differentiate these um, months. Let's change this to March. And then let's take out our actual. And you see it kept the um, <clears throat> comment. So we'll have to delete the comment and delete the comment. Right click, delete comment. Then take out our actual for March. All right, so now we're starting to get a nice looking budget. So what we're going to do now, though, is change this one to have a different background <coughs> excuse me so i'm going to click here fill color and i'll use this gray <clears throat> so there's our january february march all right thanks for watching tune in for the next video and we'll wrap everything up thank you